Hello. Today I have got a very large canvas which is 60 centimetres by 50 centimetres and I have mixed up some nice colours and my idea is to do a swipe today. So I want to start off um, by layering the colours on. I am going to start at the bottom with a mixture of Payne's Grey and Deep Sapphire. Uh, and then I've got this nice bright um, neon blue that will come after that. And then I have got this nice deco art um, sapphire. And then in kind of probably just above the middle, I'm going to have a layer of the 24 karat gold because I love that, it's my favorite color. Uh, and then I have got this Montmartre sky blue, which will go above the gold. And then a lot of this blue topaz by Deco Art, because I like that as well. Um, and then the very top layer will be Amsterdam white mixed with float roll and water. And then I shall swipe all the way down and uh, we will see what that looks like. And then I was thinking that after that um, I might swipe it back up again and I'm hoping to get a kind of a zigzaggy kind of blended swipey look. There is no silicone in any of these paints. It is just Floetrol and water. So I will put this onto Hyperlapse so that you can see me putting all that on and we'll see how that goes. I didn't really have enough, I don't think, of some colours, so I mixed up a little bit more. So, I have got my cards here, my uh, 
file plastic and I am going to swipe the white over the rest. Um, I think I will probably do it in three stages. I think I'll do the middle first and then I'll probably turn these around and just do the two edges. So let's see how it goes. I haven't done anything quite as big as this with a swipe before and I can already see that my turntable spinning might be a bit of a problem. And I've already got my shirt in the paint, but there you go. We will just have to slowly persevere with it and see what happens. So although I've got quite a lot of dark paint at the bottom, we should end up with it just not being quite as dark. It'll be a lot, lot lighter. So it didn't matter too much um, if I didn't have an even amount of paint here and there. And at this stage we have absolutely no idea what I'll end up with. Now you can see some bubbles there. see the gold which is nice and any of those big areas where uh, there's big blobs doesn't matter too much because I can still go over those again interesting that considering there's no silicone in these paints at all we can certainly see those uh, cells so I think I might just go over that area where that's got that kind of slightly blobby bit Yeah, this is where it will be tricky. Yeah, there's still some blobby bits in there that uh, I won't be quite so keen to have, oops, <laughs> yeah, this is all not working too well at the moment. The canvas was so big for my turntable. there is some blue bits on the other side but again you know I don't know if that's going to matter too much Right, so that's got that going one way. 
And my idea was to bring the blue back through the other way. I saw um, in E Arts, they did one where they put it, put the blue the other way as well. And uh, it was really good. need to have something because it's not looking that great at the moment so I think see how the middle bit this middle bit is all right apart from these bits but uh, I think I'm gonna have to take it back through because uh, I can't just leave those Lobby bits there. Yeah, this whole turntable doesn't work very well. a lot more like the idea that I had when I started. <laughs> oh, it's ever so messy. is looking a lot more like what I had in mind so I'm going to do the same again I'll have to overlap that center very slightly <laughs> yeah my turntable spinning is a bit of a pain I think I'm just going to have to lean on it to try to stop it spinning and just accept that I am going to get it all over me. And then I can tidy up my edges afterwards with the paint spray and the blue sapphire that I already have. of tidying a bit um, and seeing what happens and of course over time some of those other colours will come through and I can put my torch on it as well just try and clean off this plastic <laughs> it's funny because I was thinking that this wouldn't be so messy when I started this morning. And it very clearly is much messier than I anticipated. So I am going to get my torch and hopefully the bubbles will come through.
not so keen on the line down the middle. But I have got some other swipey tools. And I might just be able to bits of um, plastic stuck on some lolly sticks. some of those sort of blobby things. any less bobby does it <laughs> yeah i'm not sure that this is turning out exactly how i had in mind really I think that that might be as good as it's going to get. I don't want to mess around with it too much because I know I will make it worse. going to leave that now. I will tidy the edges and let it settle and then I will let you see what that is like and we'll see what we think. So here is this painting. It has had chance to settle and I have had to stand on my ladder to 
be able to show you what that looks like, all of it, which is quite difficult. Um, but there are some really nice areas in here. These lovely little cells with the blue topaz coming through and those little bits of gold and then gradually going down to be darker at the bottom which is what I wanted. Um, I think I probably would have liked it to have been a bit more even in the middle to have some of that gold more on the right hand side as well but I have just left it now because I think that's the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, I will let you see that when that is dry, which will take, I think, quite a few days. And uh, we'll see what we think, really. Uh, it is what I wanted to achieve. It has got the lighter colours at the top, and it has got the darker colours at the bottom, with that gold coming through in the middle. I'm just not sure if I would have preferred it to have been a bit more even. But having said that, if I want to, I can embellish that later um, with a bit of glitter or something. So I'll let that dry and we will have to see what that looks like. Um, so <laughs> let's wait and see, shall we? Okay, bye for now. So here we are. It's been a couple of days since I did this swipe painting and it is completely dry now so I thought I would show that to you. It has got some very nice little areas to it. I do like all the different blues that come through. Um, there's a very nice neon blue just there and I love the shimmer of this blue sapphire from the deco art with the metallic sheen to it and of course all those lovely little bits of gold amongst the blues and that blue topaz towards the top I mean that has a lovely shimmer I always like that blue topaz it always comes out really well so yes I am happy with it I wasn't sure when I first did it I wasn't sure how I felt about it but I do really like it but I am tempted to put some gold leaf on it um, I also am tempted I have some lovely shades of blue glitter as well but if I do that I will do that in another video so let me know what you think if you think it could have some gold leaf or glitter or if you think it's good how it is, or if you don't think it's good at all. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.